fossil four is. For, fos, for, oh, five. Fos, for, fossil fossil fighters? Fossil fighters. You have to floss and fight. I like this little hat. This little hat, I think, is a continuation throughout. All right. So we're going to play some Fossil Fighters. Um, I can't stand the anime aesthetic. Could be best game, I, but I, could, if I couldn't play it. Really British. I, I'm a very, very big. Fortunately for you. Uh, I saw some Genshin Impact gameplay today. And I found all the voice acting rather boring. The Japanese or the English? English doesn't seem great to me. I switched off it pretty quickly. Um, but... I really, really like um, the Japanese. Japanese has some really high quality um, voice actors for it. And as it gets bigger and bigger, more and more bigger ones are gonna probably be on it. Uh, hopefully, hang on. Ooh, we might have to restart. It doesn't recognize me. Um, uh, 20K for top bits, I should, oh God, no, no. No. No kit. No. The anime aesthetic is its draw power because a lot of people, including myself, attention to, uh, to, like the attention to detail with the characters in it. It's very much, it's a gacha game. That's the thing, Cleaner It's very, very gacha because of that. That's how they catch people. Ga you'll notice gacha ones have a lot of bells and whistles going on. Um, I, don't, I literally can't remember what we were up to. I'm gonna post so many FF memes in the Discord as you progress through the story. Go for it. Go for it, Quinn. Fossil fighter. I, I, I like the idea that there is, for a niche game like this, there is fossil fighter memes. <clears throat> fossil fighters. It sounds like when boomers get to fight at work and they retire. Oh my god. Um, I legit can't remember what we're up to. What is this? What is this name of this? Make me wear this? What is it? Haha. <laughs> Love it. Aren't they always powerful items? <laughs> I feel like this is very specific. I feel like this is this just for this stream. What? I like that. Go. Oh, it's very small. Why is it very small? Go. We do it that side now. We'll do it this side. This side. Look, we you can nom on chat a bit. Ah, you can eat little chat members. <laughs> All right. Fossil fighters. Plush, plushy. I actually had the plushy there. So where is the plushy? In one hand I have one dinosaur, in the other hand I have another dinosaur. Wait, can you move- oh shit, I didn't realize you could move- Wait, can I play this game fully with a touch? I didn't even know that. Alright, let's do it. Uh, I don't know where I was up to. Was I up to a new region? Beth, am I up to a new region? Which zig site would you like to go to? Can I go to somewhere new? Bottoms up bay. Chat? Drop your trousers, bottoms up. You need to see those asses in the air. Oh, what the hell? Well, I guess I'm a fish now. The diving mask. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, so of course. So we talked about like, we saw a couple of flyers last time. And, um, now it's, we're go I guess we're gonna go below the ocean and get some ocean fossils. That's pretty cool. I hadn't expected. Oh wow, straight up Zelda water. Ah, help! I remember a voice. Is that a straight up a shark? Wait, there's, there's straight up sharks in here. Do I have to fight these? I was looking, I was out here digging when I looked around. I was surrounded by sharks. The sharks out here are weird species of dangerous man-eaters called denture sharks. Is it, they got fake teeth? Uh, they swim to you super fast and knock you out with the force with one blow. If you're really slow, they'll eat you on the spot. Okay. I can't get out of here. Please help me. I do. 
If a shark hits you and knocks you over, you'll have to start over. Oh no, this sounds awful. Can I, can I even dig yet down here? Can. It looks like I can't use my radar though. Okay, alcohol ocean! Oh no, this is not a, this is no bueno. This is no bueno! No! Really, really not a cool... Really see. Well, I made it to her, that's at least that. So that's a good thing that's happened. Thanks, Amana, I thought I was gonna. Those team might be fake, but they uh, those bites sure hurt. Oh, is that... Question chat, is that a localization change? Probably not bad, I don't even remember this part. You remember it though, Al? I've got a tip for you, since you saved my life and everything. I heard that there's an old sunken pirate ship somewhere. Why, why do we care about that? I thought we were getting fossils. I've read up on the history of the area. I think it must be uh, Captain Woolbeard's ship. If I'm right, that old boat will be loaded with treasure and rare fossils. Let's go look for the pirate ship together. It has to be a reason that no one's found it, though. Watch out for the strange rocks that might be covering the passage that lead to the pirate ship. Remember this area and the stuff? I don't remember the sharks. I, I, I wonder with the sharks, like, whether or not in the Japanese version that they were supposed to be, like, they actually do bite you and hurt you. They can tear you apart, but they didn't want to have that in the localization, so... Just like, oh yeah, they have dentures, you know, so they can't hurt you. Person there. I remember this, uh, I remember this area and stuff, I don't remember anything about the sharks. Really, really. Corpses are, are just unexpired fossils. Some degree. Except for the fact that they haven't rotted away their flesh. Water type. Makes sense. I'm going to assume mostly water type, if not only oil type here. Little rock. Let's fight, boy. I have no idea about localization. I reckon there'd be some interesting changes between them. Uh, because this feels like it probably would have gotten westernized to some degree, but I, I, I wonder how much. I realize I probably should have taken a break as well, and I didn't. That really hurt, by the way. Alright. Uh, 50 50? I'll hit the one at the back. Oh, wow, look at this lad! Some of the multicolors that exist for some of these are crazy. Oh, I may as well keep things. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage. I feel like I'm kind of at a disadvantage. I'll leave it one more turn. Use the uh, use the follow to cover art designer on. Wait, what? Use to follow the cover art designer on Tumblr. Oh, really? For the wait, like, hang on. There's the Japanese one or the Western one? Are they the same? I don't actually know. Give him a little chumpy. They're definitely, we're definitely in a stronger tier of uh, opponent, I feel like now. Western, but probably the same. That's interesting if they got a Western. I wonder how the sales went with this game. Pan versus, uh, Pan versus the West. Because it feels like this is, this is a game that would do okay in Japan. But I have no idea for the West. Oh, what? Rookie Cookio, oh, just subscribe. Okay, okay, boomer. Whatever you say. Okay, okay, boomer. Sometimes I wonder if sometimes you just get restless. Yep. And you get bored and you're just like, you're looking for someone to, uh, to, to gift to. One should die. 
All right, now we're probably going to take a decent chunk of damage from this. I have no idea. This thing will do a lot because it's going to have its max move. 250! All right, it's a three hit move. Oh my gosh, that was so heavy. This just makes me want to play Pokemon. One day, one day, Clue. All right, that's fine. We're, we're way ahead in damage, I don't Use your body axe spray. I need lip. Um. Spin axe combo. What's this time? What have you sent me? How much dino stuff are we gonna have? Alright, go in shirts. Most of my shirts are from Utante, by the way, I've just noticed. Buddy. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Tante, Tante does look a, like a good shirt. Kinda works. Kinda works. Oh, I'm a, I am a funny shape. I am a funny shaped cat. How's that? That kinda works. Alright. That shirt is beautiful. <laughs> and I always finds gold. Rock. I do appreciate it, I don't have to heal it. But Yu-Gi-Oh, what? <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is a very different to those other two. I think, I think that's describing kid show, essentially. Or collector. What do I thank you, Cleaner? Point of view, your mother is buying shirts for your child, yet the child still has janky ass cat bod. Look. Look. My mother loves my body, okay? That 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 came out weird. Let's 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 forget that was ever said. You know what it is? You've got to love your own bod. Daily and nightly. Never so rightly. E boop. Ooh. Ooh, that was a little worrisome. Don't know why the game. <laughs> I've... Whenever I say don't clip it, generally it is a don't clip that having a stroke. Yeah, I don't know why it did there. Really anything too crazy happen. Whoa, what's this boy? Hang on, what are you? Oh, look at this boy. He's kind of cyber. Oh, I like this guy. Let's fuck all damage. He did what? He did four damage. I almost did as much in the counter. All right, well, Spinax, just eat this lad. Apparently he's really weak. Crying blood? Oh, he is too. Kind of edgy. Kind of like him. No, no, Tante. There's, there's no, 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 officer. You don't have. Don't worry, officer. It's fine. Um, no, no nothing here. This looks like Mega Man, but with dinosaurs. Yeah, it kind of. That was the thing when I first saw it, Kunima. It did remind me of Battle Network to some degree. Which maybe Battle Network is something I need to play one day. But I, I'm not really. A, there was never really a part of me that was like, I really want to do an RPG version of Mega Man. <laughs> Game is like $90. What? Shut up, Quint. Is that true? That's crazy. So something that's really bonkers to me in a sense is um, uh, how expensive um, 
Uh, I really, I don't own a copy of um, Heart Gold Soul Silver anymore, and it kills me. I really want Soul Silver, and um, uh, oops, um, and I would, I want to get a copy, but it's very expensive. Very expensive guy, um, very expensive guy, um. Oh my god. <clears throat> I was not expecting to see a s this is this is a recent meme too. Probably. Look how recent this meme is, chat. Look at it. It's a squid game meme for fossil fighters. <laughs> I I am shocked that this exists, but the shows that the community is. Yeah, eat shit. I have both high gold soul silver. I collected a lot of- I have every one except for that one, because that came out when I was at uni, I think. I'm fairly sure that came out when I was at uni, and so it was like, it wasn't- Pokemon wasn't really on my radar at that time in my life. So, it's like the one that I've missed, and I, I want to go back and get it, but it's just so expensive. And ironically, it's- that and Black and White are the best Pokemon games, so... Bit of a bummer. Hey, what's going- where am I going? It's a dead end. How gold souls ever really feel like the peak? They're very good. That generation is fantastic. My issue with that generation though, Tante... Nightmare to Nuzlocke. I really hate Nuzlocke in that game because the grind is awful. If you get set back in the mid-game or to mid late game, you will be taking ages to to grind. Grinding is just a nightmare. They, I'm surprised they didn't fix that with that game because they fixed a few other things. What what do I do here? Dig 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 fossil fighters th fighters time. Thought you were gonna say the fossil fighters theme time. I'm a little confused. What am I doing here? I thought I was meant to be going for a boat. But I don't see a boat here. You like Platinum Gen 6, Black and White, and then Heart Gold Silver. Yeah, see, everyone has their different ones. And I think a lot of the time, nostalgia plays a, a part of it for people. Platinum's okay. I really hate the base um, Diamond Pearl experience. That's why I'm not playing the retro. But what am I, what am I doing here? In passage. Okay. Um. What am I supposed to do? I found something. How does this work? Wait, is this near? Oh my god, is this like a. We gotta find. We gotta go layers and layers deep? We've gotta go deep, chat. Um, so yeah, that's, that's part of the reason why I think the newest one has sold really well, is nostalgia, and then also the fact that people are, um, uh, people are really hungry for a base Pokemon games. My first was Fire Red. There's a part of me that likes Heart Gold Soul Silver a lot because of the Gold and silver. A lot of nostalgia with that for me. There's air in here. How strange. Anyway, let's explore the pirate ship. Be sure to uh, open any treasure chest you see, and more importantly, we should look at uh, Captain Woolbeard's quarters. I'd hate to miss the opportunity. Break these. Can. I break those. Can break these though. 
Probably going to be important for later. Break this. Can't break those. I'm getting real SS sunken SSN vibes. How big is this place? Assuming there's no fossils down here. No way. What? What? How does this work? Oh, you know, the fossils that live inside the wood. <laughs> okay. Really very confused at this point. Would Twitch be chill with me? Tante Rotana streaming Sunrun Kagura game. Asking for a friend. I legit don't know, Tante. I mean... How do they feel about clothes breaking games? Because it's jiggle physics and clothes uh, breaking. I feel like you would get the hornies. I think they would definitely, that's the type of people who come by. But I just want to cook. They're cooking in those games. I've never played them. I do not wish to be horny anymore. <laughs> Uh, Quince, Quince found happy. the powerful one. Um, last, uh, the last kind of boring chapter in the game after it goes off I the rails? Me. Really? Weird area. Oh, okay, I was like, yes, a jewel, but I won't have to fight someone, but there was. I've been hiding in this ship for years! Senran Kagura Bon Appetit, full call. <laughs> Wait, is that the name of a game? Or is, is that actually like... I, w I, would, I would need to do it. I don't lie, it actually sounds like a nice food. Didn't get attacked there. I could have been worse. Oh no, Tante, you look up two things. Look up if the category is there. Two, maybe look up like the stats of people playing it. Three, uh, I don't know. I feel like people would have talked about it to, for sure, right? Because it seems like the type of game people would have tested the waters. People have played some pretty crazy stuff on, on Twitch, so I don't know. I think, I think you might have to do a little bit of research for what is he doing? Why, why are you attacking like this? I'm kind of worried that I'm going to get baited here. He's going to lower me, whittle me down, and then I'm going to get by like a combo that's just... What's this? So people uh, like cuddling with fossils until you bludgeon them with your pickaxe! He was under the floorboards, uh, Klima. <laughs> oh! Interesting thing that you've sent me, Quint, uh, Quint. That's actually what I used for the thumbnails for, um, there's a clean art piece I found of this that I've used for the thumbnails for, for YouTube and, uh, for the, for the VODs, basically. Not bad art. I couldn't find my my window first. Yeah, it's it's not bad art. Is it like yeah? There's a really nice clean. clean um. Dummy, can you name these beasts? I wish. I thought you would be able to Zigzagoon, but apparently they're based on species. So you you get parts to a species to make them stronger. So essentially, that's why you can't name them because you get one of a species. Um, which. I'll be honest, I feel like there's not too many monster collection games I've played where that's technically how that works. I feel like there's at least one other I know that I've played that... You pretty much get one of a thing and then you upgrade. Someone played it yesterday and their overlay has massive the closet vibes, really? That makes sense to me. 
I feel like the thing about the closet, Tante, that makes it less weird is that it's both Samurai and Pixie. If it was just one of them, I think that makes it a little bit more weird if you're very horny on main by yourself. Horn, horny couple less weird. Um, oh, I should have done that. Um, they will move forward and I can finish. Oh, not enough FP. Ah, oh, well. We should co-op stream Cassandra and Kagura. <laughs> I don't know if it's my type of game that day. So send me some footage of it. I'm honey. with all the boober and just talk about cooking. I do like cooking. I'm not gonna. Wait, who died? I zoned out for a sec there. Get out of here. Not like you you have to worry about score for fights as well, which is nice. You can just you can fight. Kind of appreciate that. Bop. Bop. Bobla. Bibble bobble boo. I guess those fossils collectors are into Edgar Allan Poe. Roleplay if they're under the floorboards cuddling bones. Man, that, that sounds so much darker now, Cleaner. <laughs> what is this here? Why is there an orange one here? I'm a little confused. No problem, Tante. Thank you for the shirt and the little one. One sec. <clears throat> Put the orange ones in the weirdest places. Yeah, this is really... Weird. I don't know why that one's there. Fairly sure. I also appreciate this game doesn't have random battles. I kind of actually kind of that. It means I can kind of, I'm in control of when I want to fight. The next section over this way. Hello? Just a jewel rock. That's the first chest we've encountered. Why is there another one of the orange things? Ship's weird. Weird ship. Unka S. Now I'm worried about like, is there a hole like there was out in the other area for the secret path? Staircase here, maybe we go up here. Two. Guess this is just in case you Max out on your storage, and you want to go back and forth? Getting fossils? I, I feel like that would be a very sucky thing to do. I feel like... As much as there's a degree of like, I don't want to miss stuff... I feel like this is similar to Yokai Watch, where I wouldn't want to piss part around. Cause... I remember why that's there. I have a weird feeling they might play a part at some point, but they do just seem like they're kind of, kind of just be chilling. Read that as emo tackle. You ever just been tackled by an emo? The dyed hair, bright bait hair, just ends up on you. Same purpose is the return to town. Easy. Yeah, that's what I'm assuming that's what it's there for. So if you want to try and disappear. So, I haven't really seen any water ones that I'm particularly interested in, so I don't know if I really care too much. Also, I just realized there is essentially that guy that talks to us non-stop in our fights that's still like here and he can talk to us anyway. Oh no. Am I not in control? Oh no, we okay. I 
think we're okay. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna continue doing what we've been doing. I don't know. Will I, my boy, die here? Probably not. Right? I reckon he can survive. Let's give him one turn. See what happens. Mo tackle. Not scared of that. I like him. There's a variation of him in. Two, uh, in uh, he remind. Do you know what he reminds me of? He reminds me of, for some reason the uh, the narrator. He does because he doesn't talk aloud. Like you don't hear his voice. But instantly, I think of the guy that narrates Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2. I love that dude. What will he do next? Oh, a decisive blow. If you've ever watched Metabots... Oh shit, I accidentally got him. Actually, it's weird. I've just realized I actually it's better to let me do that because then I just get access to full meter. Didn't even think about that. KO. Um I, I wish there was more narrators. So if you've ever watched Metabots, Metabots actually has that as well. Um Metabots has a guy that is similar to this dude. He literally pops up anywhere. Like, if you've ever watched the TV show, he's the old man with the little mustache, a uh, big mustache, and he, he's like, he does like Kamen Rider poses all the time and stuff. Um, but he just, he'll just come out of the ground or out of a trash can or like uh, out of a tree. And he's just, he's just ready. He's ready to like commentate every fight. Metabots, if you've never watched the anime, was very good. Had, um, it was a very silly, fun anime. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I think, um, I, I don't know if I really like the fighting game that came out too much. I definitely prefer the RPG. The RPG is super good. And I never hear anyone talking about it. It'd be nice for some of the, the other Metabot games. West. Old Mask. It'd be nice to show off those games at some point. I don't know if I'd do a full playthrough of them as well, because that's a very long RPG. If you've never played that RPG, it's quite substantial. Um, you can breeze through it pretty quickly if you know what you're doing, but there's a degree of grinding that's like, take you a while to do if you didn't know what you were aiming for. Kind of, I've kind of gotten lost on the ship now. Kind of was zoning out. I feel like I'm holding my hand on the right and we're just gonna go hold our hand on the right, but I kinda wanna explore that room back down. I don't, got the the RPG itis where I don't want to miss any rooms. Especially with chests. Chest me free. What? You found and read the book on team skills? You now use team skills. That seems like a pretty important thing that I've just found. What are team skills? I'd love the game to have told me. I'm assuming maybe it'll happen next time I go into a battle. I love Stadium 2. Uh, mini games are awesome. I think that's probably one of the things that people remember. I've debated about doing a Nuzlocke of the tower in, or the challenge mode version of the tower in Stadium 1 and 2. Th those runs can be really tough. There's also speed runs, which are crazy of that. God, that was there. What, 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 what does it do? Hey, did you read that crazy book on team skills? I just read it too. What are you doing on this boat? Man, this guy got a dumpy truck, but, or it's his thighs. He's got big thighs. Apparently, if, uh, if you put three well-matched Vivisaurs together, you'll un uh, use these powerful team skills. Still not sure which exactly uh, count as well-matched though. McJunker says it's matched up on Vivisaur based on diet or elemental type. That'd be a good starting place. Anywho, I guess there's the uh, only way to find out what by Fight lots of different battles with different Vivasaurs. Aim, huh? Well, see you around. Why, you, why were you here? Um, okay, question. Is this something I need to worry about? Are, they, are these these team setups actually like worthwhile thinking about?
Is it worth bending an entire team? Alright. Fancy door. What is up with this fancy door? Criteria, diet, elemental type. Time period in which they lived. Oh, really? Place though a found IRL. No way! How would I know that? Is there actually a repository? Hang on, that's a good point. Is there a repository for the dinosaur? So if I look at Spinax, does it actually tell me like a history of this dinosaur? I feel like that if it doesn't, it should, it kind of defeats the purpose of this. I feel like this game should tell you about like stuff about the dinosaur. There is in town, okay. Can it be built into the tokens? Whoa! actually a ghost? Is that actually a ghost? Yar! He faced the legendary pirate, Captain Moolbeard. I've crossed the seven seas and... and... I'm legendary! Whoa, it's the ghost of Moolbeard! Me! <laughs> Hold ye life to life love... Uh, fight life lovers. I got orders for ye. Orders? Who are you to order us around? Some guy with a hat? We're not part of your crew or anything. Find me, beard rim friend. Woolly wool. Woolly woolly. Woolly wool. Beard ribbon? You're kidding, right? That ribbon is the only thing that could hold my dear heart. Dear, I hold dear to my heart. And the most fashionable accessory on the planet. Without that ribbon, my spirit can never rest. Alas, the wrath of the pirate fashion critiques everywhere. Sad story. But do you think we got free time to look for your pretty ribbon? Find it for me. I'll give you your greatest treasure under the seas in return. Wait, what? Treasure? We're on that job. We'll get that ribbon for you before you can say apparition. You're right. You're with me, Daimona. I didn't get to say anything. Captain, we'll find it for your ribbon right away. I, I, didn't, I didn't agree to this. I'll... S uh, I've searched every corner of the sea. There's nowhere to be found. Got it. We'll search on land. No problem. Please hurry. I've got to help me before my beard becomes unruly. It's pretty unruly as it is. I kind of love it unruly though. Look how good it was. Rex, hurry up and trap them in there. <laughs> What's going on here? Come on, try and open the door. I want to kind of scan around in here. Treasure. Treasure and all. Treasure! Team skills aren't required, but it can be very helpful when a team skills hit all three dinos in an enemy team. Oh, are they- oh, they actually are in a hit. Or are they passives? Door won't open. Strongest move for each dinosaur. Oh, weird. Dino has a unique team skill. That's pretty cool. That's another layer. Like, I wasn't expecting another layer of combat to be added in this. Then we'll be here. Do something, please. They're active. Um, they're attacks that you use. Oh, I, I assumed they were passives for team. Like, I thought they were team bonuses. Shoot, what are we going to do now? What was that? What? Who are you? The woman? The woman. Tribal woman. In this place. Captain's quarters? Hey, the door's open. Super strong. Did you open the door? Thank you. I thought we were on our way to being sunken treasures ourselves. Yes, but don't I understand? I'm not here to help or harm you. I simply need to survey this room. Okay. Okay, what is happening? This is starting to get me uh, Zoids vibes. Hmm. Man, I need a good Zoids game.
Yeah, well. <laughs> Good. Glad we stood there and watched that play out. Who was that? And where was she going? Wait. Forget her. I want to know what those two other two were up to and why they locked us in here. Guess we have to find that ribbon ourselves. We'll talk to my grandfather. He'll know something. Why would he know something? It's a ribbon. The famous ribbon of Willbeard. Oh wow, she actually did destroy the door. It's gonna be mad. Oh no, Dad's gonna be pissed. Button. Back to town. Hopefully I can- I can, can I just teleport to this location again? I don't want to have to rerun through everything. Not the belt! Alright, let's uh, let's go open up these lads. Fossils to do. It's fossil time. Hello? Cleaning submission has been completed. Uh, results were one fossils integrated, three fossils being donated, and one Question, can I, can I donate, like, um, can I rough up for cleaning? Can I do that for the, that I, for the fossils? The, not fossils, for the, um, the. Alright, here we go. Alright, we haven't played in a little bit, so let's see if my skills have gone up or down of uh, me smacking a hammer. That was not very good. A very delicate fossil. Delif delicate lad. Oh. There we go. Not the worst. You can drop off uh, You can drop them off for cleaning? Okay, cool. All right, well I might do that. That'll save me some time. I'm using Corona on my team when I first played. I, oh shoot. Oh no, this is a fossil. Oh, it's a diamond. Oh! Perfect. Diamond retrieval. Hell yeah. Is it worth me doing them? Because I don't know. Can the robot uh, remove them in, like, with 100%? If the robot can, then I may as well just do it with him every time. If he reduces the cost of them, I don't know if I want to, because I don't get them. Not 100%, though. That's that's my worry. If he can't do 100%, it almost feels like a... Balls. I, I was doing so well too. Not until you level him up. Surely he's pretty leveled by now. Surely this lad is very strong. Takes uh when it takes the hardest material in the game damage. <laughs> Dominus. I will get that upgraded hammer and I will hit things lots. I'll stop, I'll stop. I'll be honest, because of the fact that I can see the screen as as I can this way, that I feel like this would be a lot harder on the DS, right? I'm curious whether or not this is considered easier on the DS or easier like... Whoa, I did not do very well there. Did not realize how bad I had done. Whoa. It's on really difficult fossils, it's worth letting him do it. Right. Let's see. 
Looks exactly the same. You reckon it's so it's about the same difficulty? Oh look at that soft boy. He's got like a like the neck strap. It's actually easier. I swear the bone break noise is giving me flashbacks. Are you gonna say PTSD? Hey noodle, welcome what is Look at this soft boy. I actually kinda like his color palette. I don't know if I put him to the team. Got a lot of new fossils here, didn't we? I kind of want fossils for older dinosaurs that we have. But I'm guessing that's still like one of those things. That, oh, this is a very hard rock. I've actually forgotten where the fossil was. This is a very, this is one of the hardest rocks we've had to deal with. Ooh. You guys like don't use the hammer. Look at this. Look, it's fired. I just, I'll, I'll just keep swinging. It's okay. Can you teach Plessio a hip check? Hey, Jumpy. Nah, he, I'm fairly sure he already knows it. It's, it's ingrained in his DNA. A hyperdimensional hip check. Uh. Uh, stressing me out. <laughs> I flinch every time I hear it. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Um, you want fossils for older dinos? Upgrade your sonar and go back. Oh, that's how that works. I, I was wondering, because I felt like they should be relevant to the area you found them, not necessarily, like, um, going forward, because that doesn't make much sense to me if, like, parts of a fossil is found in one location and parts of a fossil is found in another, but that makes a lot more sense. I'm not a big fan of this, the shape of it. Oof. This one might be a rough one, guys. Ooh, there's so much blue. Might be the very difficult. On the edge. Oh, wait, I forgot. Hang on, I need to talk into the mic so it it just. I can't see. I need to talk. I need to talk more so I can see what's going on. Oh shit. Talk but concentrate. It's a really rough fossil. I'm just happy that we got it, because that one that one was actually quite tough. There was a lot there. You're going to go clean the... Uh, pressing L or L or... Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Okay, thank you for that, Quint. Shape of that one is... It's, uh, just stripes is most difficult. I might... Yeah, that, that was pretty... That was pretty tough. We didn't do too bad, though. This one's made of cheese or a sponge. This is the sponge fossil. This feels like an actual water one, honestly. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, this is like bubble wrap. We got a bubble wrap one. Hell yeah! That was a fun one. Oh. <laughs> oh no! All right, that, that's my bad. That, that, I liked that one until I failed. Use your drill on those? Yeah, I think I... I kind of I kinda wanted to just go for it. Gun it. Hey, Meowdy. And Red Rover. Mum mobile because of the different state. Oh, shit. Enjoy your holidays, Red Rover. Wait, what? Wait, what, what am I looking at? Oh, I, oh, it's a gem. Alright, I'll, I'll clean this up. 
the opals. Is it double opal? Actually, oh, never mind. Unga Bunga? No, it's fine. It's fine, it double this. If my if my dinosaur comes out a little derpy because of the smack in his head, then that that's that how be. Right, we got all unique fossils. I wasn't expecting this. Uh, uh. Oh, Noose, thank you for the follow. Hope you can tolerate my my ha my sledgehammer approach to freeing fossils. It, these are the ones where it's like it's kind of the kind of out. Down. Whoops. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Ah. I did actually remove it. Is it agree where I'm like I could just go nuts? Oh, I just noticed. Oh, so it can actually overfail. Okay, I didn't realize that. You didn't even get the dinosaur. I know. I, I kind of really fucked up that one. I thought I had it. Oh, amethyst. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty clean. Yeah, that's pretty clean. How are you, dude? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself, Miyadi? Just, uh, we're enjoying our time with some fossils. And I kind of, this is kind of cathartic, I'm not going to lie. Um. Whoops, oh, I'm cleaning the same one. I didn't mean to do that. Champions or, uh... Champions or Dinosaur King? I thought you were going to say Spectrobes, because didn't you guys tell me that Spectrobes also has this mechanic? I'm now curious how many games actually in this generation use the 3DS game, the 3DS touchscreen to make games like this. This is a very, not very fossil. Got it to this one. Alright, 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 okay. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, that, that was really bad. Might, this, this fossil may not survive the process. I feel like, I feel like I'm ballsing this one up a bit. The thing is, I kind of, like, hold too long. I think that's the thing that's a bit weird about this. If I hold for too long. Very easy to not quite see under where the, the little spark is to see whether or not you've actually cleared out what you need to clear out. Oh, never mind. That one's a tough one. Um, and just like that, you have a cripple saw. He's fine. You were talking about spectrobes. Oh, cool. OG or Beyond Portals. I've never played a spectrobes either. Oh. Why did the diamonds come up as new? Get a perfect. Hell yeah. Perfect diamond. I had the OG, but it was either in the back of, the, of Game Traders. Oh, EB Games. EB. Oh, shit. Are you from a, a, AU? Noodle? EB Games is only in Australia, right? Yes, we did everything ourselves. Well, wow, we got a lot of um, gems there. Uh, drop off for cleaning. That's annoying because now I've got a situation where I have a uh, a 
a, a dinosaur I haven't made fully. I think they're in Canada and maybe the UK as well. I think, yeah, I think I've seen them in Canada. I don't remember them being a UK one though. Because they've got, America's got game. Uh, GameStop. I think the UK has game. I can't remember. I always forget. EB used to be in America until EB, until GameStop bought them out. Oh, really? That's funny because EB bought other things out here. Um, okay, let's go. Uh, no, we need to go to Grandpa. Gotta go to Grandpa. Grandpa, tell me. Where's your ribbon? This is how we do. Oh my god. Wait, is it? Is this. <laughs> I like this. Is the tier list of like. Is this difficulty I'm imagining? I feel like some of these I haven't seen before. Some of them are very strange in the A tier. Wait, there's ones with little notches on the side. Is that, like, are they strangely got the notches? Why would you have to ever clean out the notches? Or is that meant to be rotating the fossil? Right, let's go find Grandpa. Grandpa. Those aren't in fossil? Oh, okay. How do we get to Grandpa? Last time we got teleported to him, I think. Richmond's office. Grandpa, have you ever heard of a, a beard ribbon belonging to Woolbeard the pirate? I really want to find it. A pirate? Beard ribbon? Come to think of it, that sounds familiar. I remember my people found it on the old... My people found it a chest washed up on the shore a while back. Really? Can I have it? Not anymore. An acquaintance of mine wanted it, so I gave it to him. An acquaintance? Who? His name's Knickknack, the Paddywhack. He lives in the hotel down the road. Knickknack, that's a funny name. He's a funny fellow. He can't seem to, uh, he can seem a little off-putting, but he's actually a good person. Thank you, Grandpa. We'll need it, we'll, if, we'll be at the hotel if you need us. Daimono, Rosie, before you leave, I wanted to ask you. Do you know that each Vivasaur can learn up to three or four new skills? The available skills in battle depend on how many parts you've integrated. The sonar that uh, you've got to Diggins, uh, from Diggins, you can only detect two parts. Five fossil chips. Uh, you already knew that. Ah, oh, really? I better start from saving monies for a fossil chip. Quite right. It'll be well worth it. Anyway, let Nick Nack know you're coming, and you should be able to see him right away. Ah, oh, thanks, Grandpa. Let's go to the hotel. Let's go to the hotel and pay Mr. Knickknack a visit, shall we? That couldn't be any more right. Here comes the special digging mission. Special? I'm a bit special. I'm a special little guy. Um... Oh wait, we need to go to the guild to sell stuff. I don't know why it's called the guild, that's a little weird. Sell item? Dang, that was a lot of money. Alright, we're starting to get real cash now. Bring me stuff. Uh, upgrade tools. Sounds sus. Memes are pretty sus. How much does it cost to upgrade stuff? Detect previously unobtainable fossils. So I probably need the chip. Detect prevents detection of non fossil rocks. It's probably not that, like worth getting the fossil. Uh, 
Uh, I also want to upgrade. But how much were the cleaning ones? I feel like they were crazy expensive. Yeah, 25,000, they were very expensive. Uh, what about the case? Yeah, let's get the case upgrade. Yes. Or I can get it once is the better. It sounds like he's punching me. Fairly sure that it was the sound of him punching me. I'd say the monitor upgrade next. Yeah, I'll probably work towards that next. That way I can just get anything. I feel like spending time is not really the biggest concern right now. Running back and forth is probably the biggest time saver. Um, hotel, that's where we go. Um, welcome back, Timer. And welcome to you, Miss Young Miss. I am Rosie Richmond. We're here to see the guest of yours, Mr. Knack Knack. Ah, Mr. Miss Richmond. Mr. Knack has been expecting you. Take the leftmost elevator and up to Mrs. Na Mr. Knack's room, the first door when you get off. Thank you very much. So it's the first door, uh, room on the left, uh, the left elevator. Let's go. Left elevator? I didn't even know there was two elevators. Here, I'm breaking into your room. Oh my gosh, okay. Good afternoon, Mademoiselle Rosie, Monsieur Daimono. It is me, I am Knack Knack Knack. Have you heard, oh hang on, should we do a French accent for this guy? I am a Knick Knack. I heard you from Monsieur Richemont about your visit and your desires. It is Woolbeard, ribbon, uh, Woolbeard's ribbon you want, eh? It would trickle your pre fr uh, fancy, eh? I, I know, Zigzag, I'm so bad, sorry. It's like, it's there, I just haven't, I haven't organized for it. Um, I'll let you know when it is added. Uh, yeah. I will be more than happy to grant your request, considering your relation to Monsieur Richemont. What, really? That's great. Well now, spool your, spool your nets, girl. There's a price to be paid. Rubid's treasure ribbon is a one-of-a-kind treasure, after all. I'm gonna forget this accent. So, what do we have to get the ribbon? Mm, Nikonak is a thinking. 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 Mm, yeah. All the things there are. There are three that I wish for. Bring me those three to me. Search and find for me. Bring them here. I'll give you a beard, beard, uh, beard ribbon. Three things? Hey, I rusted my bump trying to get that ribbon. My grandfather gave it to you. Since we've all agreed on my plan, the first thing I need is a molten bug shell. I want a bug shell? Only bugs that I can think of on Vivisar Island are fossil bugs. To correct. You are so well, well educated, mademoiselle. When it comes to fossil bugs, the Digga Dig chieftain seems to know a lot. You should ask him. Uh, when you find it to me, would you be so kindly bring it to me? Then I'll give you your next project. Good luck and thank you for the kind service. Oh my god, this guy. Why is he French? He also collects literal shit. <laughs> fetch quest. Good love a good fetch quest. He's a bit sus. This boy is a bit sussy. Seems fine around children. Um, all right, where the digger digs were in the second area, not forest, I think. Let's go visit Digga Digs. This is most arguably the most annoying part of the game. Really? May as well save. Save often, that's what they tell me. Continue the game? Maybe. Maybe we do a little continue. Oh, we're now at a point where it's I pretty much just grab every fossil I can see because um, I've got enough inventory space. I will get ones that I've like um, um, I've got ones that are like uh, uh, what? What? What am I hitting? 
Uh, there's new fossils I can get from these areas, which I think one of the ones I've got right now is from this area. <sighs> Give me one second, chat. Um. Ah, oh, crap. I guess we'll have to fight this person. I, I forgot about that part where I'm gonna have to fight people for, for fossils. Which is kind of a bit of a waste of time. Do they level up? Or are they still gonna be the same relative strength for this area? Don't completely fill up? No, I, I won't fill up. It's just I'll get things on the way through, pretty much. I won't, I won't go out of my way to find fossils, but I will pick up anything on the way through. I'm a punchy. Punchy. Cool, my team has like big advantage here. Big advantage. And damage definitely feels like it's ramped up. Love this Wiggling lad. He's a little lame looking. If there is a cooler version of that boy, maybe I might want to get him because I do like the... Cut it up. There is a degree in this game though, it does feel like you kind of have the Pokemon thing going on where like you can just take a starter and just make your way through the entire game. I feel like T-Rexes are pretty good. Question, is T-Rex like a dinosaur if he's like an end game one? Sometimes, sometimes this game is a little hard to get it, especially with an NPC behind you. Apparently, enemy AI has the IQ of mashed potatoes, but it becomes a competitive mastermind game. Really? Your X is kind of end game. I mean, that makes sense to me. It's not as good as you think. You can't, you can't be saying that. He's the king of the jungle. You boys. Wow, wow. Wait a minute, I know that voice. Remember when we got shut up in the room in the pirate ship? Who are you? Why are you trying to stop us from getting- what, Has she not met the dog before? Ruff, ruff. Rex attacked. Battle? Sure. Good luck. Good luck fighting this dog. What is- he's got a sloth? Is- this is the guy that we didn't like fighting, wasn't it? He like kind of sucked to fight. I don't remember why. It was either tanky, or there was something weird. Um... I don't have advantage against any of them, so I'll just attack the front one, I guess. But I hope Xeno doesn't hit you. Xeno? Which one's Xeno? Xeno Saga? Give him a little chompy. Give him a little, little chew. Just give him a little taste. Say he's a skill he hasn't found yet? What do you mean? A debug roll. Alright, well, we're in clear advantage at this point, so I'm just gonna keep, like, jumping down on this lad. Go down next turn. I don't even know what he's talking about. Who? Me. What? What did I say? <laughs> Perplexing shot. This looks like a dizzying attack. Confusion. What does the confusion do? I can't actually remember. Oh, it just wasted my turn. Okay, cool. That's 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 fun. Don't put my support in the front line, you silly game. How tanky are you? you he's relatively tanky. Oh no, that's not good. Cleaver? 
Whoa! Wait. Accuracy down. And it missed me? What? I don't understand how that happened, but that's okay. Alright, alright, alright. He's back. Support skills. Holy shit! He gives 90% increase in defense. I'm very lucky that attack's not doing much. Alright. Well, Goyle's back. I'm gonna try and get rid of the one at the back, because I need to, because that defense buff is fucking crazy. Shit, how tanky are you? Spin axe, we'll do just normal spin axe attack here. 17, that did more damage on the front row than the back row with my non-attacker. <laughs> okay, now I understand. What, what, has he just got like terrible accuracy? Has he just got terrible accuracy? Like, how is he? How is he missing so bad? This is kind of annoying. I don't really want to. S oh, maybe we should switch actually. I really want to get rid of that one at the back. He has the worst accuracy in the game, but a hundred percent crit rate. Can you boost him up like a holly? Um. Could I boost him up to be like really, really good for um uh shoot, that's so much defense. Um hundred percent accuracy and then just crit. I feel like that would be a setup. That's a weird passive to have. The white teal dino is adorable. He's a sloth. He's a little sloth fella. I kinda like him a lot. You need to go. So you need to go. No more 90% defense. Spin X. Just do a bite. Do a single bite. See how much damage we can do. Also, relatively tanky. Good. Wait. Curious. Also, does that. Does that dinosaur also buff my dinosaur? He gave me speed. Oh no! So they've got like tier, he's got like a tier three attack, which is kind of rough. This will give me some stats. All right. Well, we'll do. Kind of don't want to buff this boy. He needs to go down because we know he's got a strong hit. So we need to weaken both of these pretty evenly, I think. Oh, sick. Alright, this might be over. I wasn't expecting to get a kill there. So he's a massive detrimental mon, but he has like a very specific setup you can have. I have just parting blow. Oh, this is bad. Um, okay. Someone's gonna go down. Slicer! Not that scary, considering that. I'd say he's the only F tier dino. No way. His detriments are way outweigh the benefit of the crit. That's crazy, because it feels like you could get a setup for him and make him super good. So that means that dog is like the easiest person to fight from now on, is that correct? Or does he rotate his roster? Oh. oh that was that was that was fun and easy. You can do a way easier setup and hit the 99 damage cap damage cap of 99999. That's the case. Mr. Chieftain, how you digger doing? 
No! What is about this place to make me say dang word? I have no idea. What brings you here, Digga Dig? We're trying to find the malted bug shell, Digga Do. Where do you find one? I dig a dig. I do dig a dig. Deep in the underground lives a fossil bug. They push fossils uh, with their back legs and roll them. Uh, there are many fossil bugs around. Their molted shells are difficult to come by. Dig a dig. DJ! Happy anniversary, babe. Happy anniversary, Happy anniversary. Babe. I'm sorry to say, CJ, I didn't get you a present this year. Can you forgive me? And you gave me a little you gave me a little present, but I haven't gotten yours. I mean I haven't given you one. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for being my model this time as well. I appreciate that too. <clears throat> because of these shells is tobogo tobogons? To what? Toboggans. Toboggans. In the winter months. Uh we learned malt uh, uh to make bug bolts. Requires a molting ritual to uh, and the fossil bug. Molt or shed its shell to what? What is this guy going on about? Molting ritual? Yes, a ritual to make fossil bugs molt their shells, digga dig. On the sacred ground of the digga village, we vigorously shake our hips, digga dig. Huh? How does shaking your hips make the bugs molt? It's not easy. The hip shaker dance requires great passion and vigor, digga dig. When the bu fossil bugs feel the vibrations, they rise to the surface and shed their shells, digga dig. Would you like to try it now? We, Digga, don't need to travel to the sacred land? No, because we are standing on it right now. This is sacred land, Digga. Uh. First, I will demonstrate Digga Dig. Shake your hips like this, but with more passion and vigor. No prezzies, no prezzies. You can do the Digga Dig dance with me, like CJ. Do you want to do the Digga dance? Would the fossil bugs surface and molt for the Digga dance? Chieftain, uh, why do we need to learn it? My hip shaking is insufficient. Only a passionate figure of shaking will, from a young warrior will work, digga dig. Now please follow my example, digga. God, do I have to? Am I gonna learn this animation? None of you have been seen, uh, seen how to shake your hips properly. Let's digga do it. Oh look, press the A button to shake your hips. Oh look, it's that girl. All right, there's not, there. <laughs> Okay, I don't have to do it too fast. Shake, shake, shake! Oh! No problem, clear my. Have a good night. You've performed the ritual as you were, digga digs yourselves, digga dig. You did it, Daimono. It's multi bug shell. Hell yeah. Thanks for the digger dance lesson, Chieftain. I keep confusing the characters. Come on, let's get the multi bug back shell back to uh, Nick back. All right, well that that was that, I guess. Uh, is there a teleporter? There was a teleporter down here. Digger, doop. Yeah. My first team, Babby's first team. Lip, lip. Um, all right. Which dig site would you like to travel? I actually don't want to go any dig site. I, just... I was actually trying to go back to uh, the latest area. This boy's zipping. Zippy zoomy. Uh, elevator. Mr. Knickknack, we brought you the malted shell bug. Oh, how wonderful. This malted bug shell will make magnificent toboggan in the winter of months. You have done very well. Thank you, Mercy Beacom. Beacom? Beacom? You said there were three things. What did you want next? The next default uh, is a sandal fossil. <laughs> Funny, there's no such thing as a sandal fossil, right? 
Ta-da! What? What? It's a sandal fossil. That doesn't make any sense. Those things have been in the ground for a long time. How did sandal manage to get fossilized? Let me guess, it was like a dinosaur wore a sandal or something? Don't worry about the details like that. The point is only I have one left sandal. One sandal is no good for a two-footed creature like myself. Please find the other one. Are you wearing, is he just gonna get an outfit made of fossils? Sandal fossil? There's a lot of established dig sites in the island, but they're all for dinosaurs. Oh wait, come to think of it, this a site with nothing but weird junk. It's over in Greenhorn Plains, if I remember correctly. Good luck! My fossil footwear will keep you a step closer to the Buccaneers Bear Binder. I like that he's got a lot of the weird shit that apparently we've been collecting, like the little um, totems and things. Wonder if we'll steal them from that man at some point. Alright, green planes. Uh, uh, uh. Where would you like to go? I would like to go to Green Horn Plains. A nice trip. And she pushes me on the ground. Beep boop, but I can't see where the beep boop go. Boop. Oh, really? All right, I'm kind of. This is this is kind of annoying. I'm kind of not into the whole like every jewel rock. Like, there's so many jewel rocks. Um, for some reason, and I am about to crush this person. Did that do one damage? Hell yeah, one damage. Well, this, this person's not gonna last very long. Bye bye. Sometimes it's not worth fighting for it. Yeah. I kinda feel like the animations, because of just how long like it takes me to skip through it all. That's why it's like, the modern RPGs have been adding things that are like, um, auto battles or auto skips. It's like you can just get the thing. You just get the reward. You don't have to waste the time for it. I kind of really appreciate that. Because uh, we're just going to go... We're not going to go out of our way for stuff. Really annoying, honestly. But then again, this game is from like 2008. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. It's like... I think there's a degree of like modern games missing QA stuff. Like I've talked about it before where it's like, I have a bit of an issue with Pokemon because they don't make a lot of brand sweeping changes and stuff like that. There's a lot of innovations that have happened to JRPGs over the years that are like, I don't know if it's like, it's strange for things to not be like added. I think that um, there's a degree of respecting people's time that I think doesn't happen in some games. I think if you're if you've got like a smaller RPG, if if you've got a, the type of game where like it isn't very long, but you've refined certain mechanics of it, fair enough. Like if it, if, if every fight is fun, but if you've got a situation like this where it's like I'm so out leveled versus this guy's monster, I'm not going to get relative rewards for the time investment that I'm going to have for it. At least he's dead, dead in one shot. This is how it feels, Quinn. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I, I, I'm very appreciative of the fact that the Fossil Fighters community has like made all of these for a game that I don't, didn't really know much about. Kind of like this. All right, was it, so it was junk up north. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, that's right, this, this idiot. Doing. You do. How did you get out of that pirate ship? That thing was an escape proof. Go, go, go. 
Sorry to trade secret, but why do you want to lock us in there anyway? If a bug is annoying, you've basically got two options, trap it or squash it. <laughs> and then he attacked me. Makes you play, playing as China difficult. Learning how to play as, play die in Bulgaria. Bulgaria. I love how they intentionally make these animations terrible. I think that I love that everyone looks like animated terribly. I didn't save, I haven't saved in a while. I'm actually a little worried. This guy might be tough. I haven't really gotten strong in a little while. Um, it actually makes me a little scared now I've, because this guy is probably the toughest of all of them. Well, let's see what happens. If you lose, it doesn't. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about that, Quinn. I'm so used to other RPGs where it's like game over. Game over, yeah. Winding snap. It'll lock me in, but I'm strong against it. Okay, so bad choice by that guy. So yeah, I, I shouldn't be too scared about like making my way forward. That one's mostly down, and then I'll start hammering on this boy in a moment. Kaholi, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Just like Yokai Watch and Pokemon? Yeah, I, I forget. I guess I'm my brain is still in like a weird other RPG gear. Holy shit, archaeology daddy. Guess who did this, comrade? I'm fairly sure you'd know who, who organized for some of this. Um, all right, this guy is gonna lose this one in the back here. It does make this upcoming one scary though. So we should be able to swap. So I'll do this. I'll lose buffs, but I do get to attack and get some defensives here. I'm gonna say taunt. <laughs> yep, that's the one. Every time. Alright, I've just gotten debuffed. I'm about to be hit. This is a super duper attack. Oh, he doscoid me! And one-shotted me. Holy shit. Um, okay, that's actually really bad. I wasn't expecting to get doscoid to death. Um, it actually makes that one that's coming up later scary, so I kind of need to beat this down fast. In turn. Much I can do. You're using S Raptor? You're good in my books. Which one's S Raptor? He's the one up the top. I kind of like that boy. Very strong. Despite him going down. Holy shit. It's actually this is actually a little scary now. Uh kinda just need a burn here. I don't know if I've got enough damage from the back row here for this. Yum yums! No, no any enough. Well, here goes. This is where it gets bad. Oh, he debuffs his own team. Wait, oh, he did not have enough. <sighs> we might have an out here. Alright, that's good. Uh, Alright, well we just have to attack now. I kind of just, I just need to hope I don't get double critted or something. This boy hasn't gotten much. Oh my god, look how tanky he is! I, I can't, I can't rotate easily, this one. I've rotated at a bad point. Also, every time you rank up, you gain more FP per round. They increase the max FP. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Uh, I, I sensed that that was going to happen. This boy is very strong, this, this Egyptian one. I found out that Harriet hairstyle... The Harriet, the hairstyle dog, she doesn't give hairstyles every day. Yeah, I found that too. Sometimes she doesn't. You have to donate to get a new person on Harvey's Island once they're a new person. Yeah, so I actually... So a weird thing about that, comrade, is that I did do that, and some days she'll just, she'll just straight up not do it. Um, she'll just be sitting on her bum. 
having a cup of tea. This boy's strong. I if I don't if I if I, if I get crit here, I'm dead. <laughs> no, oh Quint. No. Oh, this one's cursed. I wish Tante was here for this one. Oh, this one's this one's very cursed. You know, you know. Alright, do not crit me. Fuck, he has so much. I'm super dead, aren't I? Bow chow combo. Ow. Crit and dead. That's fine. The dino dance as well. A little too well. That dinosaur is terrifying. I think I need to... I think I need to fight that guy by swapping my party. I might have to swap to S Raptor first. Be nice to get like that little bit more FP. I, I don't think we're at a grindy spot, but I would suggest you get a different type of support. What different types of supports do I have? I don't really know how to build a, a team in. All I know is that I've gotten like the the other support one I had was the um uh what should I call it? I have two wins right now. You kind of want to have like a bro like three different elements, one for each element. Go clean up some fossils. I don't really have that many fossils right now. Can't swap. Oh, I need the box. Is there a box here? Ah, perfect. Oops. <laughs> Don't hit the machine. 100% in the first game? Okay. Well, I'll give it another shot because I think I was close. Try not- I'm trying to keep myself moving forward. Don't understand why that's in the thing. <clears throat> Give that a shot. I've got this. It's fine. It's fine, Quinn. Watch my brute force nature win. Speeding up this game doesn't do anything. Uh, kind of does. Oops. Press B. Oh no, now I have to watch it. Oh, I didn't need to swap outside. I could have swapped in the battle. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Let's give this a shot. So I can actually do a lot on turn one because I can do 100 attack S combo. This should do a lot if I get the crit. No crit. That should just do a lot though. Hell yeah. That's much healthier. Now, I don't know... Oh, he swapped. Winding snap. At least I've put... We've now, like, both of us are on a rush now. So... Excited, though. Means I can't swap. But... It does mean I can S combo, which I probably... I don't want to do against the resistant one. Hit the one at the back there. But... But... Drop kick yet. Probably gonna winning snap. Ah, uh yeah, I'm okay with that. Still get support here, which is nice. I get S. I uh, get my other combo here. This actually is nice. Could have swapped him. I kind of wanted to lose him actually because I wanted to do this. Because that other one is still now in the back, and I have access to this. 
I couldn't because of excitement. That's true too, yeah. I kind of had a feeling something like that would happen anyway. Oh, that's bug roll damage. He's back, he'll give a buff. Actually makes him weaker. Counting coup. Do not hit me. Oh my gosh, that did so much. Water counter. Massive jaws went off as well. Oh no. Uh, okay, that's bad. I feel like my team has a massive disadvantage against this guy's setup. I have to go for this. Nice. Okay, cool. That's two. I'm in a bad position now, though, because he's going to hit me. Can't rotate. That double no rotate, pretty rough. Wasted half of it, but he'll have enough for another one. I'm weak to this as well. Oh no, my, my boy, he melted. I may as well just go. I think I'm pretty dead. Don't do much damage at all. Uh, maybe if I had a tier three skill, maybe I might be okay, but them using their tier threes and me not being able to do that, pretty rough. Wow, the dude has not a lot of health. Goyle, Goyle had no health. All right, so I guess what I could do is like, the main issue right now is Goyle. Yeah, I think I need to, I like the stats he provides, but I wonder if there's someone better. Let's go have a look at the box. Let's have a look who we have access to. He's really only in the party because I like the support abilities. I don't even really like the look of him. Let's find someone who looks cool and has good skills. Have a look see. All right, we've got, we've got access to quite a lot of boys now. Goyle, maybe Electro? What is it, who's Electro? Oh, actually, yeah, dude, Indominus, look how cool he is. But he doesn't give any support skills though. We kind of want support, don't we? My advice is you can, uh, yeah, you can give advice. I don't mind advice. Because I'm still learning this game. Um, who's got like some really good buffs? And a lot of them give very bad support skills. I don't mind him. Very few support skills. I guess don't, do I not worry about the support skills? I kind of like this boy, he looks cool. I'd suggest not running a support for this fight in particular. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Look at some of these dinosaurs are just so derpy looking. Megalo is the most plain derpy lad you ever did see. Ultimate poison skill. The thing is that I haven't I haven't been ranking. Hopefully he will be strong enough to be the party. But now we get a different element. There's someone else I kind I kind of like I like you Raptor. I think I liked him more. I actually think I like you Raptor more than I like. Uh, oh. Whoops. I wanted to swap. Uh. There's a lot of, lot of, lot of raptors. Um, I'd say Electra or another big carnivore. I kind of like the look of this team. Look at him grow! Alarms. Uh, low FP skills with high FP, uh, so then take advantage of the well-balanced arsenal of skills. I'd say Electro or another big carnival. A possible team move. Oh, they have team moves. Oh shit. I didn't even think about team moves. Good shot, you might want to try Elantro. He would 
he could encounter Alembro. God. I I don't know the names. Oh, that guy. Hands? If we could name the dinosaurs, this boy would be immediately called Hands. Shit. Pressing B in this game is just infuriating. <laughs> Oil. All right, let's give this a shot. Uh, do we have any fossils? We do have some new. We could go, hang on, I could just give them another robot. Drop off cleaner. I want to see what he can clean. I was right. Okay, alright, cool, cool, cool. So I may as well drop off a clean first and then do my hand, but clean by hand. How may I serve? No, you want to do the other way because then some of these are just considered. That makes sense. Alright, let's diggy dig. Oh, this is a hard one. I do appreciate like the different density of the rock. Some of them are just a lot harder than others. <laughs> and I'd kill for the the better drills and stuff like that. This feels like something where I'm like, I want to um, I want to just grind a jewel so I can go get the upgraded tool. I have no idea the difference in terms of strength. Like if I um. If I, if I don't, uh, essentially... Oh, what? I wasn't expecting to get that so quickly. Whoa. Um... Uh... <clears throat> if I wanted to, like, um... The increase in power for, like, getting higher tier. It might be for S-Raptor. But Nitrous. Righteous! Better hammer and better drill for faster breaks, but it's also harder because it makes it do more damage to the fossil. Oh, really? I'm still down with that. It means that if I have more time to play with, I can just take my time on little, little bits. Is this, is this the same shape? Just a different, different variation of Raptor. Little drill, little drill, little, little, little Beckley drill. Feels pretty good. I feel like I've done an okay job here. Success! V Raptor. Is that like the third part for V Raptor we have? Lethal poison. The digging trick I learned was that hit the most empty part with the hammer to test rock strength. That's yeah. See, that's that's a good way to do it. I'm just too gung ho. I'm just like, I'll swing the hammer. It'll be fine. V Raptor is now your highest ranked Dino. I know. I don't want to use him though. Plans? We might beat this guy and then I might take a break. Beboop. Beboop.
Again, we're we'll, not going to go too far out of our way, but I'll try and get ones where I can. Oil. I do kind of like, there is a bit of snappiness to this game in terms of like, even if you like... Like, finding the fossil can be a little fiddly sometimes, but like... Uh. Alright, we may as well fight them. Starting to get the learning curve of the game. Not easy from here on out. Yeah, I kind of I kind of get that. Definitely having different team setups is probably going to be something important. The elements seem to play a lot of part in this. Look at this chicken, chicken looking mofo. Oh, sick. I actually like starting with S Raptor because like he just, he can just full combo. Like he, he can do a heap of damage instantly in a turn. Very good dinosaur. I think the first game might be more difficult than the second. I mean, that, I, I, I've talked about this before, the, the more limits you have in a video game, a lot of the time is indicative, like the difficulty. A lot of the time though, even heavier on that is the game has less mechanics and less like sort of variation means that you have a situation where your the difficulty curve is based on like just a roll of the dice where you could just fail a win. Um, a lot of children's RPGs though do make the fights like the when they've got access to stats they'll scale, scale them down quite a lot but then it can get a bit of out of control. I think a good example is like when they like, I was trying to think like, shit, look at the stats down. Um, I'm trying to think of the, there is a, what was I playing recently where it was like, the difficulty curve kept spiking and it was driving me nuts. Like sometimes it'd be really easy, sometimes it'd be really hard. What was I playing recently? I'm really having a mental bang now. Oh. Um. Let's swap. That removes the debuffs. We won't be able to swap properly for a while. I've just got advantage. Electro has an attack. Kind of want to save that. I might actually save points here. With the post game, FF1 is fucking nuts. If you don't factor in the post game, I'd say the difficulty isn't too much harder. I mean, it really is dependent on like how many mechanics start getting layered. That's when I start thinking like how difficult like it. Save that, because this should just get the kill. Now we have access to be able to use Electro skill on him. 44% chance to scare foe. What does scare do? Eighteen damage, but it didn't seem to do the effect. What does scare do? I mean ram. Massive jaws. Okay, this could be scary, but it is from the back row. It's okay. Tempted to let myself lose one, just because then I can get free PP. Free PP! Free the PP! Fang. I like how like the name but it's just like <laughs> it's just an attack. It's bite. It's essentially they're all just a variation of bite. Scare randomly restricts one move so the enemy can't use it until the the, the effect is gone. Really? My boy, that's okay. All right, 
right, now we get lots of PP to work with. I have S combo, which I'm gonna do from here. Oh, actually, I did that silly. I wasn't thinking. Because I can draw- I could have drawn him to the front lines. Um... Because I could have done Electro first. And then I could have- ah... Yep. I didn't even think about the fact that you can attack with not with the main attacker first. Uh, I may as well take this. I don't think I'll die here. Unless he combos me, which is possible. I am resistant. Didn't combo. Still killed me, that's a lot of damage. Alright, well, I get to use Scare, I guess? This boy doesn't do a lot of damage, but... Nineteen. No Scare. Scare mustn't trigger very often. Gonna do his full combo, which might hit really hard. Help me! Ooh. How much health does this have? Shit. He has base 30% crit. That's bonkers. Yeah, I might lose that because of that now. It's that one play. No crits. He survives. Balls. Ah, yo. Very close. He has one HP, he does. Nuts! Alright. We can do it. I can do this without grinding. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna play the speedy boy game now. The game is pretty snappy though. Running around on super speeds is kind of almost unnecessary. Have a nice trip. Oh, whoops. Uh, and we're back. Yeah, if I attacked in that different order, I would have won. I know. It, it feels like this is this game might have that very like the thin the thin margin of error. Well, we, we pretty much know the strategy for this now. Shit, that, that reduction is, is so heavy. Alright, let's push him out first. Escapes. Alright, we're doing a different order of combat this time. Oh, that actually has advantage. Oh, from the back row. That's okay. Killing the fish is top priority because of its debuffs. The one on the bottom lane. I'll, I'll go for... I'm going to go for big damage here. I need to save S-Raptor for that one back. So, losing this guy, probably not advisable. And this boy is better against the other one. Buffs down, buffs down. Winding snap. So I've got advantage here, so this shouldn't do too much. My team takes a lot of damage. I feel like this setup is actually going to put us in a worse state. Oh, he does have an attack. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That's that one. Probably going to lose someone here, but that's okay. Think. Think it's okay? Char Fury. This is a tier three full FP. Oh, gosh. That's a big attack. All right, so we're in that stage where the game's like, should probably have some tier threes. Um, all right, Electro. I 
think if I can get a scare to go off that might and a crit that's nice then S Raptor I will do decent damage from the back row even I think here if I can get a crit that'd be sick ah oh, come on Hopefully be okay. He's got no FP right now. 100. Winding snap. Shouldn't do too, too much, I think. Still hurts. The amount of crits that are going out from this guy is just bonkers. Um, all right. Kind of want to... If I kill this one first, this will pull this out. We need to get rid of that guy. Oh yeah, he's confused. I don't know what it's doing. That guy's dead, so that's good. Now we can try and scare this lad. I don't know how scary this thing is. Ooh, he doesn't have a lot of health. How much does this guy can do? Winding snap on back row. How much? Oh wait, what? Oh, I thought he. I thought he. Oh, <gasps> lucky. Um. All right. Fifty fifty. So both of them can do a fifty attack. I'm gonna try and go for crit. But... Nice. Don't do a lot of damage. Think I'm okay. You can only kill one, so e either of them will finish him off. All right, good, 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 good. Steer the storm. Does, is there any AOEs in this game? That's probably what I should be worried about. Is there any AOE? It only ever hits the front. Also, that was a huge amount of FP dump. But 10 health. There are AOEs? Oh God, okay. All right, I'll have to be aware of that when that suddenly happened. Team skills and a few special dinos. Too bad we didn't get a team skill there. I was hoping that we would be able to see one. Do you guys know if there's like a space for combinations for where to see the team uh, teams? Rank up. Might be on the wiki, maybe. You'll see me again, little bugs. I'll bring a bigger fly swatter next time. <laughs> All right, well, we did it. We beat we beat the nerdy boy again. But that's probably where I'll take a quick break. Um, back for a bit more. So, let's pause here. And I will be right back. Stay, stay cozy, chat. Stay cozy. Put a tea cozy on your head.